when she, we found that lesbians were uh, positive, we had to look at the risk factors. Now we do know that some lesbians have had male contact, some le lesbians have an IDU, some lesbians um, have male contact for survival issues. But then there's that group of women that don't have sex with anybody else but women and they're HIV positive. CDC says there's less than 3% because they only have three diagnoses. I have a new grant um, program called WSW um, that my director, Ingrid Floyd, acquired for us to work with that population. And I'm beginning to realize and see the amount of women that are HIV positive but have not had male contact or IDU usage. Okay, my experience as a young Latina, and I've been one of the people that have been here from the beginning. The past couple of years I had not because I've been at, you know, working other places and unfortunately can't come up. It's always been good and we've grown and, and the information has grown. Um, I would have liked to have seen a couple hundred people up here, especially Latinos, but you know, our cultural and religious backgrounds prohibit us at times from seeking the, out the information or being in a forum this large where other people may see and it says, oh, mommy, I saw you at Rio Latina. And then they ask, what is Rio Latina? Oh, it's about HIV. Why were you up there talking about HIV? Once again, stigma, discrimination, and a barrier.